now I want to talk with y'all about me doing YouTube, doing my videos, and just in general, like, what do I want? Why am I doing this? Because I've been, this is what I've been thinking about today. A lot of things, man. Um, why does anybody do anything in life? You know what I'm saying? Whether it makes them happy, whether they want something from it, what do a lot of people want? You know what I mean? Um, especially like when I see people on YouTube, just in general, people work so they can sustain a lifestyle, so they can, you know, for so they can live, so they can be able to get things, have things, you know, whether it's a house, a car, make their life easier, make their life better. You know, some people want to help other people, but I don't think that they do it for nothing. You know what I mean? I don't know. I There's always something involved, something that people are receiving for doing something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm helping people out. I'm helping people out. But is anyone doing it just for free? Sometimes people do. I see people doing car washes, but they're not like they're not making a living off of it. I want to I want to make a living. I want to make a living off of something that I love to do. That way I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I don't want to be working somewhere that I'm not happy. And people people are doing it, but that's not what they want. You know what I mean? I don't think people want to work a job that they're unhappy at for uh, for a a means of living. I think everybody wants to be happy. People want to do what they love or they want to love what they do. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be unhappy. They don't say, I want to be unhappy and rich. They want to be happy. That's the same thing that I want, man. I want to be happy doing my videos. I want to be successful. If I could help someone else do something, then of course I would. If I could help people, I would. I can't really help anyone if I'm not helping myself at the same time, though. I have a family that I have to support. I have dreams and stuff of things that I want. And for me to get to my dreams, there's just things that I have to do. I can't just put everything that I, you know, that I, I don't know. I just want to be happy, man. I want to be happy. And if I could help other people, I would. I think if I had the means, then I would definitely would, man. I would take time out of, of what I have going on to help somebody doing something else. But I can't do it if I can't maintain myself. That's like me giving somebody a ride to work. And I don't have a ride to work. It's not making any sense. I have to have a car. I have to have something in order for me to give to somebody else. Can't give someone nothing. I have to have something to give. So that makes me think about what I do with my videos and stuff. You know, um, I, there's people in the comments who say, you know, I've brought joy to them from do me doing my content. I've helped them feel better and helped them feel motivated and stuff. Somebody told me your content has blessed me and helped me to understand my son's journey in the army. Cool, that's freaking amazing. I'm I'm glad that I can help somebody. You know, she said blessed, she blessed her and helped her understand her son's journey in the army. And that's 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 why I have something to give with that. I like that that I can give people an insight on what it is to be in the army. Someone told me that they love my reactions. They just love my reactions, so that makes me want to keep going. Your content was a part of my inspiration to become a drill sergeant. Thank you for that. I thank you for saying that. I just found your videos and they helped me stay focused and motivated for my upcoming boot camp. So yeah, there's a few people out of those 27 comments that are on that one video. Um, there's a few people who make me want to keep pushing. And I just know I had a dream. Really, what happened was I was making music back in the day. I know that making music, you're gonna have to need music videos. I started thinking about video editing and that I found out that there was a school that I could go to that could teach me how to edit videos. I'm not necessarily using exactly some of the stuff that I learned from my video editing school, but just the concept of everything. Basically cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, delete, stuff like that, move it. You know, editing the way that I do it is not really complicated, but I did go to school for something that I do wanna use. You know what I mean? I, I went to school for this, so I wanna use this. Like I said, man, I just want to be successful. I just want to I just want to be successful whether it ha whether success has to do with having, I don't know, 100,000, a million subscribers, whatever. I want to get to that. I want more subscribers. I want more views on videos. These are the things that determine success in YouTube. And then obviously, you know, any monetization that we get from the videos and stuff like that. If I could if I could live off of making YouTube videos, 
that to me would be a big sign of success. Um, and it just makes me think also like, is, is YouTube like the end all be all? I don't really know in my mind, like what if I became a millionaire, I don't know, selling something, I don't know, whatever. Would I still be happy? I think I would be, but at that point it wouldn't be the videos that would be my main focus on wanting to be successful. I think I would still put videos out just because it's something that I like to do and that would just be it. So it kind of makes me think also, should I stop looking at views? Should I stop looking at subscriber count? Right now, that's the only thing, those are the only things in YouTube that'll make me realize or know that I hit a level of success, the views and the subscriber count. If I could, if I could be successful in life doing something else, I think I would still do the videos just because I love to do the videos and I'd say, look, check this out, yo, I'm real successful at this, you know what I mean? And I could help people, inspire people with my videos like, look, I push really hard to do this. I think that's the way that I would want to help people. I pushed, I pushed, I pushed. I didn't give up on what I wanted to do. You can do the same thing. You know what I mean? Or I could show people how I became successful. Look, if you do this this way, this is how I became successful by doing this this way. I could show people that. That's what I would give to people. If I, you know, if I owned a McDonald's franchise and became, you know, very successful and, you know, I had a really nice house and my family was well off and everything because I was a McDonald's franchisee, then I would show them, look, this is how I became, this is how I became successful in my life. I got this McDonald's, blah, 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 boom, 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 just like that. So that's what I would have to, that's what I have to give, man. That's what I would want to give just showing people how I became successful. But I would definitely look into other things to help people also, man. Like I would, you know, if if I had to give, I would give things that, that people, if people need stuff, I would look into ways to give to people or do some things, donate some time or donate some money or whatever to certain things in order to help other people. I could definitely see myself doing that when I become very successful. I mean, we do it now. Me and my wife just hooked up a couple families with some Christmas dinners and, and paid for, you know, some Christmas presents and stuff like that for a couple other people's families. So it doesn't really have to do with me, you know, for me to give to anyone. I don't have to be successful to give to anyone. I give y'all a lot of my time where I was giving y'all a lot of my time and I wasn't even successful at that. Like I don't have, you know, the big mansion. I don't have my my car is a 2005 Honda Civic. It's on the verge of like breaking down, but partially because of me. But I don't want to get another car payment. I could probably afford another car payment, but I don't want another car payment right now. And uh, we do have another a new SUV, a year old SUV. 2019 to or something 2020 something whatever it's it's very new like within like the last year so but you know i'm not driving around in the big fancy car and stuff like that i don't have the big fancy house i don't have a bunch of fancy flashy jewelry and stuff like that so you know as far as those kind of materialistic things that i want or you know just a better lifestyle that i want i don't have that but i still give to people so it it is is not that it's gonna take for me to hit the highest levels of success to be giving to people and stuff like that. I'm just saying that when I do become successful, I could, I would still be giving, I would still give to people. You know, I don't think I'd be greedy and just keep all of my success just to myself. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man.